Stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night. Under normal circumstances, I would be standing behind the podium, overlooking classmates whom I've spent the last 12 years growing up with, and addressing the friends and family with the message that we have finally made it. However, as many before me have already said, these are unprecedented times. While I won't be standing behind the podium, or gazing out into the sea of mothers and fathers dressing on the bleachers as I give my final address, or walking with my fellow graduates to receive our diplomas, I'm still honored to be given this opportunity. While this moment of recognition might not go the way we had dreamed of, we still have this moment to commemorate our successes, so let's not waste a second more. Today we celebrate the efforts made and the success earned by the graduates of 2020. Even way back when in elementary school, we knew our class would be facing some struggle. We were the first class to have our fifth grade transition into middle school instead of remaining at the WLC. If you don't remember, that's okay. I still do. I still do. Everyone was too tall and too loud. The teachers always looked mean, and now you're introducing locks with letter combos to us on our first day? Regardless of the new problems we faced, we pushed through and did our best, and finally passed the fifth grade and moved on to the next challenge. Thankfully, middle school went by like a breeze, as we trudged through what felt like the same classes, laughed at the same class clowns, and spent time dancing with our crushes at those awkward middle school dances. Middle school was only the penultimate step in our public education because high school was just around the corner and with high school came new challenges. High school was very similar to middle school. The students were still tall and loud, the teachers were a lot more serious, and now we had more things to worry about, like maintaining our GPA, finding jobs for the summer, looking at colleges, and making sure we didn't dress in the same sweatpants for the whole week. Speaking of classes, those got a lot harder, but a lot more diverse. This was the time where our interests could run free, and our talents could be shown off. Not only were the classes more diverse, but the extracurriculars in high school gave us more opportunities to express ourselves like the way we wanted. We became talented artists, aspiring mathematicians, dedicated athletes, and some of us even became brilliant speakers. Some of us spent our time in the ag room, learning all we could about agriculture, while others spent their time in Crowsburg's garage, fixing up classics. Regardless of what you were doing once you walked through those entrance doors, you each had a purpose here at the Wapaka High School. This year was meant to be our year. This was the year everything started to come together. We found the right college with the best majors and minors to study. We found the right tech school with a program that intrigued us the most and drove us to be our best. Some of us found our calling in the military and bravely made the choice to serve and protect our freedom or courageously jumped into the workforce with both feet. All that was left to do was to finish our senior year strong and in charge. Unfortunately, not all plans follow through like the way you want them to. Because of the outbreak of COVID-19, we never got to say goodbye to our friends or say salutations to our favorite teachers. We were heartbroken to find out that through all the hard work by the administration and students alike, our graduation would not be as momentous as the years before. But as I said before, the class of 2020 looked directly into the face of adversity and pushed on. We did what we had to do. 
only this time from the comfort of our own homes instead of the desks we were so familiar with. Class discussions turned into Google Meetings, assignments and exams became slightly more numerous, and while our motivation may have taken a massive dip, we got through it one day at a time, but never alone. While it may be easy to focus on the negatives, we did some remarkable things in our senior year. The drama department had yet another smashing success with both the fall musical and spring all-school play. While this outbreak, outbreak cut short our baseball, softball, track, and girls' soccer seasons, our guys and gals did a tremendous job this year during the fall sports season. State solo ensemble was canceled this year, but many of our talented musicians would have gone to play or sing to their heart's content and would have shown the judges and audience members just how talented we are at Wapaka. From our short time in kindergarten to the wild ride of senior year, life for us was full of ups and downs. No matter how hard things got, we never quit, and we kept moving forward. Were we at time upset with the current circumstances? Yes. Were we at times ready to give up when schoolwork was just a little too frustrating? Very much so. But we kept pushing forward. Thanks to our friends, we had people to confide in when we felt swamped with schoolwork. Thanks to our parents, we were given a stable home to come back to and recharge and recuperate for every tomorrow we had on our minds. Thanks to our school administration, we were given the tools necessary to take full advantage of our potential and always make the best of each day. I would like to finish my speech with a question for the graduating class of 2020. Throughout our lives, we've experienced hardship and adversity and have always made it through. With that being said, the next time adversity comes knocking on your door, will you answer it with the per perseverance you show today? Throughout its entire existence, Wapaka's class of 2020 has been a uniquely adaptable and capable class. Early in our academic careers, we exhibited great flexibility as the first fifth graders to take classes at the middle school instead of the WLC. Later, we developed our talents and skills into three different principles throughout our high school years, and we are now trailblazing in the world of fully online learning in the midst of this pandemic. Furthermore, we did not merely struggle through any of these events. Instead, we have flourished and I'm sure that we will continue to thrive throughout these uncertain times and anything the future has to throw at us. As for how we did and continue to do it, all of the class of 2020 has our teachers, friends, and families to thank for our successes, academic or otherwise. And I would especially like to acknowledge my parents, as it is only through their support and confidence in me to succeed that I am able to stand in front of you as a valedictorian. As we proceed onward in life, We'll have to make an active effort to stay involved in the lives of those most important to us. And although some of our paths will inevitably diverge, we will meet many amazing new people along the way. To this end, we must intentionally surround ourselves with the people that we want to be more like, since for better or worse, our lives will affect the people we spend the most of our times with. The connections you make moving forward are integral to achieving any of your future goals, be they personal, professional, or otherwise. Ultimately, our success is derived from who we spend our time with and how we spend it. As for how you should spend it, your time in order to achieve your goals, all you really need to do is put in the work. When Gary Vaynerchuk, a multi-millionaire entrepreneur, was asked about how he fulfilled his dream of building up his family's business into a successful corporation, all he could say was that he put in the work, all of the work that he needed to. You see, Vaynerchuk regularly worked 19-hour workdays and it did not take a single weekend off in his 20s in order to achieve his entrepreneurial ambitions. The point of this example isn't to, that you must or even should sacrifice everything in your life in the name of achieving your goals, but you will have to make sacrifices and to truly dedicate your time to pursuing your dreams. Don't take any shortcuts, don't let things just be good enough, just go all in on what you're passionate about. It really is that simple and it really is that difficult. Your future won't come to you if you just sit, wait around for it, but if you count the costs of achieving your dreams and commit to paying it, you will all do incredible things. Congratulations to the flexible, diligent, and hardworking class of 2020 for all that you have achieved, and I look forward to seeing all that we can accomplish together. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, when I found out I was giving a speech for graduation, I thought, eh, just do what they all say. And imagine the audience naked. 
That's the old tip that's been used for ages, but man, I didn't expect there to be no audience. <laughs> now, I know from personal experience that listening to while I'm talking and the speeches, it isn't anyone's favorite, so I'll try to keep this short and sweet. So let me just begin by saying, whoa. Have we come a long ways or what? I don't know about you, but it's been quite the journey. There have definitely been a few firsts for all of us, whether it was trying out a new sport, maybe giving the music department a try, it was fun and absolutely nothing short of a bit terrifying. I myself gave track and field a try. It was just so, <laughs> it was just so, to secure my last gym credit. But let's just keep that on the down low. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, I fell in love with the sport, and I'm just regretful that it took me until junior year to join. There have also been some new friends and new faces we've come across throughout our high school career, all the laughs and inside jokes we've shared with each other. For some, the journey has been a little bit bumpy and a little more rough than smooth. High school is nothing if not stressful at times. Remember all those late nights scrambling to turn in assignments last minute or write that essay? Yeah, I'd be lying if I told you that wasn't me at some point. <laughs> but for some of us, those late nights aren't completely done with. Some of us are looking forward to college in the fall, a new start, a new beginning. While others of us are maybe looking forward to going into the military or straight into the workforce. Huh, lucky you. You're safe from all those essays. And then there are those that aren't sure what they want to do yet. That's okay. Take your time to figure it out, because no matter what the dream, it's worth pursuing. For those of us who find ourselves suddenly doubting your plans, just take a breath. Having it all figured out is overrated anyways. Go with the flow, see where the wind takes you. As someone once told me, and still has to remind me every now and again, everything will be okay. Now, it's taken us a long time and a lot of work to get here. When we finally got here, our nation fell ill under the coronavirus pandemic. At first, it seemed like everything we'd worked for was being stripped away. But look at us, we're still standing and we're still graduating. Our lives were turned upside down. However, each and every one of us fought towards today and fought to get through it. I commend each and every one of you for being so vigilant in a time so uncertain. This is not the way that any of us want to end our long high school career. Me personally, I was looking forward to crossing the stage, having that traditional graduation and thinking it's my turn. This is our time. But it still is our time to shine. It's your turn to be handed your diploma and probably think I did it because you did it. You finally did it. There may not be an audience, but believe me when I tell you that the whole world is watching. The pandemic may have taken away the traditions, but it didn't take away your potential, your achievements. We've all persevered through this pandemic, and for that, our graduation will forever be memorable. We began this journey together, and now we'll finish this journey together. So hold your heads high, because we are the class of 2020. I'd like to start off this speech by first of all addressing the elephant in the room, or rather the room that I'm standing in and for you the room that you're standing in as you're watching this video from afar. These are peculiar circumstances. Seriously, a once in a century anomaly and it happened to our class of all people. In light of this then, as we are all witnessing an extraordinary event, I will do my best to help make this an extraordinary commencement. Firstly, a look back to where it all began. For most of us, elementary school was spent here in Wapaka. Whether you were a kid from the chain or a kid from the WLC, elementary school was where we were first introduced to the people that we would spend our entire childhoods with. I've also come to learn that the luxury of living in a small town is that everybody knows everybody. For this reason, our class of 180 some became like family by the time we all reached middle school. Of course, the family that had its arguments and its losses, but more importantly, the family that went through all of it together. We may beckon new people into our life, but that will never change who we were in the past and what we meant to each other as comets or panthers or rascals, depending how far back you go. Before I get too nostalgic, I'll leave you with this. Even though we never really got to say goodbye to each other, the truly defining moments between us would have never come from closure. They come from the beginning. 
Secondly, one thing that I've noticed about this class in particular is that we have an astounding amount of grit. And believe it or not, it all started in middle school. If you can recall, we were the first class to be moved to the middle school as fifth graders, which unsurprisingly made us an easy target for our upperclassmen. We learned from a young age the power of adaptation and perseverance and began to embody it as second nature. Not to say that sharing a hallway with the scary eighth graders was the hardest thing that we've ever encountered, but this opportunity gave us two things. It allowed us to learn how to acclimate to our surroundings, and more importantly, it gave us a taste of what it would be like to be pioneering the unknown. This sense of grit that we enhanced has been making us strive for nothing short of perfection these last four years of high school. We tried to do as many clubs as possible, have as many friends as possible, and improve ourselves without realizing the sacrifices we're making in the name of perfection. Happiness, sleep, the simple time of day, and all of this for what? So we can hear Mr. Rabowski give one last go comments before we're sent on our merry way, wherever that may take you? I believe we're always in a state of preparation, and we do this without even realizing how hard we're trying. This unwavering determination we have is a gift that we can only hope to pass on to the generations after us. But before I talk about anything far into the future, I'll provide my insight about the current situation that we're in. Given everything I just said, I believe that it happened to us for a reason. Let's face the truth. None of us knew that school would end on a random Friday in March, and it hurts. But this is a once-in-a-century anomaly. We are a once-in-a-century anomaly. We may not know what the world looks like in the next few months, or maybe even the next couple years, but we're going to face it head-on like we've always done. Hardships like this today will prepare us for a stronger tomorrow. And not only that, but we will be the leaders of tomorrow. We are stepping into a future of uncertainty, and we're also lighting the way. I have full confidence that we'll be able to take on the task of pioneering the unknown yet again, and it may take a few tries, but also keep this in mind. Moving forward, perfectionism is both a boon and a crime to our generation. Don't let it get the best of you. Unpracticed does not equate to unworthy. As much as it makes me sad to look at the senior yard sign in front of my house, I do believe that what it says is true. We are, in fact, history in the making. So before I wrap things up, I ask that you not only be gentle on yourselves, but also to keep fighting the good fight. Give thanks to not only those that helped you get to this moment, but also to yourself, because you're the one that put in the most work. There's so much more I'd like to say that I couldn't possibly fit into a five-minute speech, but I think this quote by A.A. A. Milne, author of Winnie the Pooh, sums it up pretty well. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. In the end, I'd like to personally thank each and every one of you for giving me memories to cherish for the rest of my life. But given these peculiar circumstances, this speech will have to be me making the most of my moment. Thank you.
Good afternoon. On behalf of the School District of Wapaka and the Board of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Wapaka High School Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2020. Well, the format of the ceremony is not what anyone had planned on or expected. The significance of this day has not changed. To the Class of 2020, this is your day. The family members that are with you, the people that would have liked to have been with you, but were unable to be, and the many others that are watching or listening to this stream, join you in celebration of your academic accomplishments and the beginning of your new lives in the world. Since the outbreak of the global health pandemic, we have been living in an extraordinary, unprecedented and transformative time. We know your senior year did not unfold as you envisioned it would. And I would like to say we understand your frustrations and disappointment, but the reality is we cannot. Each of you has been impacted in a unique and very personal way. We congratulate you as you've worked hard and persevered. You've shown you're stronger than the obstacles that life placed in front of you. And now at long last, you have arrived at this incredible special day of recognition and celebration. The diploma you will receive is much more than the recognition of your academic work and personal development over the years. It is also testimony to your resiliency, nimbleness, adaptability, and commitment to your future. For many decades, it's been a tradition that the song you'll never walk alone be sung at our graduation ceremony. While the sentiment of the song has been appropriate for every graduate that has come before you, it seems particularly apropos for you, the members of the class of 2020. You have undoubtedly felt a level of isolation with a safe ride home order we have all been under, but I assure you, you have not been alone. Your families, teachers and advisors, the entire school district team, along with your mentors, friends, and our community that have given you support throughout the years, have been with you as you have navigated the storm of 2020. I would like to ask that you take time in the coming days and weeks to reflect on the support they have given you. Take time to thank them and never forget the roles they have played in your life. In the song, You'll Never Walk Alone, we are told at the end of the storm, there's a golden sky. We may not yet be at the end of the storm, but today there is indeed a golden sky. There is a golden sky because of each of you. We congratulate you. You've done it. We celebrate this milestone in your life with you, and we thank you for this golden sky you've given us. As you move forward from this day, don't let the pandemic define who you are. Set your goals, dream your dreams, help shape the new normal for all of us, and believe in yourselves as much as we believe in you. The Comet family will be with you and a part of you as you move forward in your pursuit of your goals and dreams. Embrace the challenges you will encounter in the journey that lies ahead. Be proud of your accomplishments but humble in your successes. Please know that we will always be grateful for the sacrifices you made during this year. You, your classmates, and all of our students have truly made a difference in the health, safety, and well being of our community and beyond. Congratulations on a job well done, and thank you. Good afternoon, graduates and family and friends of graduates. Mr. Sari here, superintendent of our amazing school district. It's a tremendous honor to be with you, albeit virtually, on this important occasion as we send off our senior class. Graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations. It is surreal to think that this is how the 1920 school year would end. All of the unknowns and your unknown journey into the future. I know that my faith and courage to lead has been tested many times during these past few months, along with my ability to prepare for the future. I share in many of the emotions we've all been and will continue to experience thanks to COVID-19. 
Despite this once in a lifetime ending to a school year, I hope you've taken the time to find some of the many positives in your life that the Safer at Home Orders also brought us. Today, I want to share three core values that have guided my path through the unknown. But before I do that, let me first offer some context about my personal journey. I'm originally from the UP of Michigan in a small rural resort town called Michigami. There were 300 people in my hometown. I grew up hunting, fishing, four-wheeling, and playing sports. Before being your superintendent, I was a teacher, a coach, and a principal. I also worked as a custodian, construction worker, and on a farm. Like many people, I've made mistakes, been hurt, and learned how to learn from them. I guess one could say that I have lived and learned many valuable lessons over my lifetime. The three core values I want to share with you today that have continued to shine like beacons of light from a lighthouse for me are humility, gratitude, and respect. These three values have helped me on my journey, and I believe they will assist you as you continue with your journey into the future. Humility, this core value I have come to know and admire, comes from the Latin word humilis, which literally means low, like a low place. Some people may believe that humility is old-fashioned because they believe we live in a doggy dog world where we fight for what we want and popularity reigns king. However, because humility is actually the opposite of pride and drawing attention to oneself, I contend that humility brings more happiness to your life. Let's face it, we all have egos, and I believe humility is about placing your ego into your pocket and setting it aside for the greater good, the greater good of your family, your team, your community, or the organization you work for. It's about listening more to others, asking for help if you need it, and seeking feedback from others so you can improve and grow. When you move your ego from the driver's seat to the passenger seat, you not only enjoy the ride more, but you become more aware of your surroundings. Thus, you're better able to respond to what the universe brings you. When you're in tune with your surroundings, good and positive blessings flow toward you like water flowing downhill. And in addition to seeing and receiving more good from the world, it's much harder to hurt someone who is humble. A humble person knows who and what they are, which takes away the ability of someone else to classify them as something they are not. Graduates, please take a moment to look around the room where you currently are. Look at those with you today and think about the knowledge they can share with you if you let them. The second core value that has guided my life is gratitude which I view as making a conscious effort to count our blessings. I am so grateful for my family, my wife and children, our great community that we live in, and the very talented people I work with who teach you. Being grateful for our loved ones, friends, pets, nature, and life in general makes us feel better and can even cheer us up if we're feeling down. Gratitude is like an open doorway that attracts positive opportunities to us. People may choose to be upset or miserable because of their environment, but being upset or angry will not change the situation. I understand that this pandemic has forced us to isolate ourselves from others, and it really changed our plans for the past few months. However, gratitude can lead us to a far deeper wisdom. I argue that our awareness of everything the good, the bad, and the ugly is actually a gift that we should be grateful for. Even in those moments of so-called suffering where we forget about how great life truly is and how good we actually have it, there is strong goodness in everything that comes our way. As Oprah Winfrey once said, the more thankful I became, the more my bounty increased. That's because for sure, what you focus on expands. When you focus on the goodness in life, you create more of it. I know being grateful in all situations is hard. However, if you believe that everything happens for a reason and that there is good in everyone, in every situation, then good things will continue being a part of your life. Graduates, 
I again ask you to look at those with you today and think about all the good that has come to you through those closest to you. Graduates, please join me in thanking those who have supported you in reaching today. Thank you, parents, family members, friends, teachers, aides, counselors, social workers, nurses, custodians, secretaries, food service staff, coaches, advisors, administrators, and all of the other support staff who work in our schools. The third core value that continues to guide me is respect. Respect is not only about how we treat others, but more importantly, how we think about others. I believe that all humans are created equal. And so each person must be respected. That doesn't mean we have to agree with everyone or agree with their opinions. It does mean, however, that I respect everyone as fellow human beings. It means that I believe I can learn something from everyone. Everyone has a gift and a talent that I can learn from. And I should be so lucky to meet everyone that I do and accept them for who they are and what they have to offer. In our era where many people are critical, cynical, and judgmental, so many people forget the importance of simply seeking to first understand others before disrespecting them and closing them off because of a superficial difference. When people say something to me that I don't like or maybe I don't agree with and Instead of arguing or putting them down, I often simply say, hmm, that's interesting. Graduates, I know that being a senior in high school is challenging enough. And I'm sure over the past few months, it's been even more challenging. I also bet that during the past few months, your level of respect for others wavered at times as well. While it's natural to vary the level of respect you feel for others, it's not okay to never reflect on the level of respect you have for those closest to you. So graduates, please take a moment to think about your feelings and levels of respect for those with you today. How open are you to truly listening to them? Humility, gratitude, and respect. Unfortunately, the popular culture you're inheriting is a bit wounded and lacking in each of these values. While the media invites us to take refuge in narratives of divisiveness, peer pressure, division, and fear, I hope that you continue looking at the world, seeing opportunities, freedoms, and hope. While pop culture inundates us with selfishness and often an eye focus, I hope that you can see the good in others. I actually hope that you will do more than just see the good in others. I hope that you will remember the power of humility gratitude and respect, and how they strengthen each other. Graduates, let me speak for all of our district employees and community when I say that we have hope and faith in each of you. As you, the class of 2020, will become our future leaders. We expect today's leaders to have answers, but I hope you also have humble questions. We often expect today's leaders to be in control, but I hope you will abide in the strength of gratitude. We expect today's leaders to be great speakers, but I hope you will also become respectful listeners. Surely there will be challenges. Riding the ways of the unknown and heading towards a future that cannot yet imagine, it's not an easy task. You will be tempted by the insatiable powers of the ego. You will have to confront not just the outer status quo, but your inner status quo that resists change and continuous improvement. And yet, if you live with humility, gratefulness, and respect, there will always be happiness, success, and inner peace in your life. Even though today we are all in social isolation in the middle of an unexpected and unprecedented worldwide pandemic, remember, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. We have only today. Let us enjoy a bit of it and begin the journey. Again, congratulations. It is my distinct honor and privilege as principal of Opaca High School to certify the class of 2020. I'd like to take a moment to recognize any veteran or anyone who is currently serving in the military. And 
any of our graduates about to enter the military for your choice to serve our country. It is through your sacrifice and service that we are afforded the many freedoms we enjoy today. Thank you. I would also like to thank all those in the medical field fighting on the front lines, saving lives during this pandemic. A special thank you to our teachers and staff. Your dedication, passion, many hours of preparing, correcting, refining of your lessons has helped to build a strong educational foundation in our students. The amount of influence and inspiration you have had with our students over the years is difficult to measure or quantify. But please know, I have seen your work in the work of our students, and I'm proud to say I serve our school and community with you. Seniors, please take a moment to recognize the teachers or staff members that have supported you throughout your journey. Congratulations, graduates. Your five minutes are up. I started my first class meeting with you by announcing that you would be graduating in five minutes. My reference to your five minutes is a reminder as to how fast life will pass you by if you let it. I want you to take the time and design your days and not just let them happen to you. I know many of you have spoken to me about your time here at Wapaka High School and how the last four years really did seem like just five minutes. You have taken our school to so many places through your work in and outside of the classroom. You have represented us with pride. I am proud of your work and thank you for the wonderful moments. Life really is about the moments. I will truly miss your leadership and influence in our school and community. Use your experiences over the past four years as a foundation to your work going forward. Be proud of who you are and who you will become. Today's ceremony is the first of many milestones in your life. Please cherish this moment. Even though this moment may be different than we are all used to, it does not diminish what you have accomplished as an individual or class. Use the energy in this moment to fuel your drive and passion to continue to reach for new heights. We may not be able to predict the turns in the roads ahead, but know you are well prepared for whatever is in front of you. This marks the end of one chapter in your life, but this is truly the beginning of so many great adventures for you. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments as you continue through your life's journey. My final address to the class of 2020 would not be complete if I did not conclude with my final Motivational Monday. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Wurbowski with your Motivational Monday on Sunday. Today and every day is my day. Remember, every day is a new opportunity. Make the most of your moments. Take the time to design your day. Set goals for yourself and do your best. Remember, every day matters. I believe every day matters for what you do today will influence your tomorrows. Do not allow your fears to hold you back from reaching your potential. You are a product of your decisions and actions, not your conditions. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Make your tomorrows. Don't let them happen to you. Make each day your work and do not settle for anything less. Think of failures and setbacks as opportunities to sharpen your skills. Use your successes and moments like today to build your confidence and courage. For I believe your best work is yet to come. Have a great day and life beyond Wapaka High School. 
And of course, go Comets! Riley Andrew McKibben. Hey everyone, Riley McKibben here, senior class president. Just want to say that I'm thankful for my mom and my dad for getting me to this point, and I'm excited to see what the future has in store for me at St. Norbert College. Kendall Maria Skildson. I'm going to UW Stevens Point for art and design. Anya Faith Harrington. Hi everyone, I just wanted to take this small opportunity to say thank you to my friends, my family, my teachers, and everyone from Rotary for making my high school experience something to remember. Connor Thomas McCausland. Megan Patricia Nicewander. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Anna Christine Pulvermacher. Hey everyone, it's Anna, and we're finally graduating. I'd like to thank all my teachers, friends, and family for supporting me along the way. Kyle Andrew Pulvermacher. Hi everyone, this is Kyle. I want to thank all my teachers, family, and friends for everything you've done to help me get here today. We're finally graduating. Emma Sue Marguerite Smith. I'd like to thank my family, teachers, and friends for all of their support, and I'd also like to thank my Rotary family in Denmark for being so welcoming and making this past year so wonderful. Autumn Rose Heisler. Thank you to my mom, dad, and brother for supporting me through this entire journey, and also to my grandpa. This is me carrying on your legacy. Nicholas Sylvester Abrahamson. Hi, I'm Nicholas Abrahamson, and I just want to thank everybody that's helped me get to this point. Connor Paul Anderson. Thank you to my friends and teachers for all the great memories. You have made a difference in my life. Also, thank you to my family for your amazing support. Katie Lou Ash. Thank you to my parents, teachers, and coaches for all of your help getting me here today. Next year, I'm going to UW-Eau Claire to major in math, education, and art, and will be playing on the golf team. Kylie Faith Backus. My name is Kylie Bacchus. I would like to thank the Wapaka High School staff for welcoming me into their district freshman year, and thank you to my grandma and my parents for helping me through the last four years. Connor Gerald Bailey. Henry Donald Batten. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, and my coaches for letting me have a great high school experience. Thank you. Juan Christian Bautista. Looks like I managed to do it. Vincent Jerome Berg. Colby Richard Bernhard. thank my friends, family, and teachers. I'd also like to thank my coaches for all the encouragement and support they gave me along the way. Garrett Matthew Bohm. Merrick Allen Bonficht. Thank you, Opaka High School, for these last four years and making them so memorable. I also want to thank my coaches, teachers, and friends for making the memories even greater. Austin William Buckholt. Bryce David Burns. Kayla Joy Kane. I really want to thank my amazing family, friends, teachers, coaches, and everyone who supported me. I'm excited to move on and see what my future holds at UW Madison. Cassandra Lee Carrick. Braden Kenneth Chamberlain. 
Emma Lucille Kramer. Caleb Kenneth Dane. Hello, my name is Caleb Dane. I would like to thank my family and friends who helped me and supported me and got me to where I am today. Thank you. Ovid Charles Albert Deese. I want to thank my family and my friends and what motivated me. Rodencia Isabella de Santos. William Donald de Zurich Otto. Kyle John Diesler. Kyle Diesler, I'm going to the tech to get my CDL. Congrats, 2020, you finally made it. Not what I was expecting, but we finally did. Ryan Nicholas Dowling. Joseph John Daniel Drake. To all my friends, family, and teachers, thank you for all of your help and support. Thank you for everything. Alyssa Mirapage Durant. I wanted to give a big shout out to all of my teachers, especially Mr. Peters and Ms. Bloomberg, my loving family, and my caring friends. I definitely couldn't have done this without you. Isabella Renee Ellant. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my family, friends, and teachers for all their support throughout my schooling. I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you very much. Zachary Matthew Eller. I wanted to thank my friends, family, and teachers for helping me get to this point. And I'll be going to St. Norbert's in the fall to study computer science. Derek William Emerson. I'm currently in Guarujá, Brazil, and I want to say thank you for a great four years of high school. I made lots of friends and memories, and I love my time as a madrigal. Proud to be a part of the class of 2020. Elias Mikhail Engbritson. I'd like to thank my teachers and my family for helping me to get through high school. Jack Edward Erspalmer. Madison Brave Faldet. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you for being such a great class to grow up with and for all the memories we've made. I wish you guys all the best in your future. Congratulations. Jesse Glenn Fairman. Michael Todd Fenske. Emily Suzanne Foyt. High school has been one crazy experience for me, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who kept me motivated and successful, and congrats to Class of 2020 because we finally made it. Michael Lee Foote. I wanted to give a big shout out to my mom, Mrs. Erb, Mr. Stork, Mr. Peters, and Ms. Bloomberg, and to my friends, I couldn't have done it without you. Libby Ray Fox. Maricela Solome Garcia. Thank you to everyone at Wapaka High School and my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. I will be attending the University of Minnesota Rochester and their Nursing Guarantee Program in the fall. Maria Ann Golke. I would like to thank Mr. Stork and Mr. Peters for guiding me through my senior year and to my family for their support. Samuel Mark Grawl. Evan James Gustke. I'd just like to thank everybody involved with youth apprenticeship, especially Tom Hansen. And to my class, I'd just like to say stick to your beliefs. Derek Robert Hahn. Yeah. 
Aliyah Michelle Hansen. Brooke Ann Hansen. Thanks to everyone for your support over the years. I will be attending the University of Minnesota this fall to major in biology. Lucas Charles Hansen. Zachary Adam Hansen. Chad Elliott Hansen, Jr. Ryan Jonathan Hansen. Thank my friends and family. Um, for this moment, and I can't wait to continue on with my life. Jonathan Wayne Heidger Jr. Hello, I'd like to thank my family and friends and give a huge shout out to Storks and Peters for helping me graduate. Faith Rose Henneman. Ashley Marie Holzbauer. Cheyenne Alyssa Howell. Abram Noble Jackson. Thank you, Wapaka High School. Go Comets! Claire Victoria Jacquet. Thank you to everyone for supporting me, especially my parents throughout my school and music achievements. I'm excited to see what the future holds. Peace and grace. Hannah Muriel Jensen. I'd like to take this moment to thank everyone who has contributed to making me the person I am today. I wish all of my classmates the best of luck in their future endeavors. Juliana Mackenzie Johansson. Ilea Ray Johnson. Damian Anton Johnson. I'd like to thank my teachers and my family for keeping me motivated during my high school career. And I'd also like to thank my friends for making it a wild ride. And I wish you all the best of luck. Sarah Elizabeth Johnson. Wyatt Reuben Johnson. Nikaya Ramona Johnston. Zasha Kate Jorgensen Berg. Thomas Michael Katoon. Anna Grace Kilcoin. I would just like to thank my parents and the teachers for all they have done throughout the years. And this next year, I'm going to be going to Evangel University to get a degree in elementary education. Dylan J. Kimball. I'd like to thank Ms. Wilhite and my family for getting me through this journey. Lillianne Ray Klein. Alexander Jonathan Klemp. Good luck to the class of 2020. Emily Sharon Jean Knight. Matthew Joel Knight. Elena Lillian Knorr. Joshua Thomas Kokovsky. Alexis Yvonne Kepler. Brandon Brian Koski. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Matt Warner, and Mr. Polo. Congratulations, class. Drew Edward Kirchmar. 
I would like to give a special thanks to my parents and grandparents and my friends for getting to me where I am today and making me who I am. Thank you. Noah Joseph Kruger. Astarte Journey Coons. Hey, this is Star Kunz, and I'm proud to be part of the graduating class of 2020. I'm thankful to everyone who helped me to get here. Peyton Thomas Lederhouse. Thank you, my friends and family, for supporting me throughout my high school career. My plan is to attend Fox Valley Technical College's software developer program. Isabella Ann Lemke. I want to say thank you to my teachers at the Wapaka High School and my family for supporting me. Noah Tyson Lenke. My name is Noah Lenke. I'd like to thank everybody at the Wapaka High School for the last four years. Looking forward to pursuing a degree in aviation at Fox Valley Technical College. Davis J. Levine. Connor Jonathan Loken. This is Connor Loken. I want to give a big thank you to my mom, dad, and everybody in choir, drama, and forensics. I'm where I am because of you all, and I hope to see you all again soon. Brenda Jane Long. Ryan Stephen Ludke. 2020, I am so proud of us on graduating this year. I would love to thank all my classmates and parents for being there for me. Love you all. Matthew Joseph Marquette. I would like to thank all the teachers who helped me throughout my time at Wapaka High School. And I would like to give a special thanks to my parents, Mrs. Bank and Mr. Golski for always supporting me and encouraging me to follow my dreams. Gabriel Ezra Martin. As I reach graduation, I want to say thank you to all my friends and family who have helped support me throughout the years to help me become the person who I am today. Damian Martinez. Hi, I just want to thank my parents, my teachers, my coaches, my siblings. Go Comets! Elizabeth Ray Mensel. Garrett Jeffrey Eugene Miller. All right, well, this isn't the graduation that we wanted, but it's what we got. So thank God this is all over. Robin Carly Miller. I'd like to give a big thank you to the teachers who helped and support us throughout the last semester. I know it was very hard for everyone, and I'd like to give a big thank you to my parents. Thank you. Nathaniel Millis Minton. Valerie Leanne Montgomery. Hey everybody and the class of 2020. I'd just like to take a moment real quick and say thank you again to my family and friends for supporting me throughout all these years. Samuel Cody Motto. Kaylee Michelle Much. Michaela Ann Neely. I wanna thank my teachers, staff, and administration, and especially my family for all their love and constant support throughout my high school career. And I wish the class of 2020 the best of luck. Samantha Ruth Nelson. Wyatt James Nelson. Thank you to my friends, family, and teachers for all your support. August Marie Noland. Benjamin Pacheco Rojas. Cole Michael Pearson. 
Jacob A. Piglo. Abigail Eveline Perquet. Amber Marie Peterson. Delena Lynn Peterson. Keenan Linus Polabitsky. Thanks, class of 2020, for being such an awesome class. Good luck in the future. Christian Samuel Pomerenke. Nayeli Hannah Razzo. Alyssa Louise Reitz. Hey, this is Alyssa Reitz, and I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for all the support in this chapter of my life. I'd like to also wish my classmates the best of luck in their futures. Thanks. Skyann Ray Rison. Madeline Jean Rhodes. Mason Page Rice. Hallie Margaret Richter. Thank you to my parents and all of my teachers who have supported me these past 12 years and congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Everlay Artis Riley. I'm Everlay Riley. Special thanks to my parents, FFA advisors, and Wapaka Comet staff and administrators. Go UW River Falls. Madeline Miranda Risk. Emma Lee Ronaldson. Thank you, Rapaka High School, for the best four years of my life. I really wish that we could finish it off together, but I can't wait to see everyone at the next reunion. Brayden Michael Rose. Dylan Jacob Russell. I'm Dylan Russell, senior of the class of 2020. I'd like to thank everyone who's gotten me this far, like my parents, sister, friends, and the staff at Wapaka High School. Thank you. Blake Dennis Salter. Aliana Lita Satorius. Hi, it's Aliana. I want to thank my family and friends for all the support they've given me, but I want to especially thank my mom for being the backbone of my success. Andrea Nicole Saunders. Taylor Grace Schmidt. We did it, yay. It's so great to see you guys. Um, I'm wishing you the best in everything that you do. And I'll see you soon. Terry Marcus Schmidt. Andrew Thomas Schmidt Wagner. Alexander Brian Thomas Schremser. Shelby Mia Schrader. Hi, I'm Shelby Schrader and I will be majoring in sports management. But first, I will be doing the practicum of worship and production. See you on the flip side, brothers. Bryce Michael Schulke. Karen Elizabeth Schulke. I would like to say thank you to my friends and family for their love and support over these past years. Tristan Zane Schuler Jones. Jaden Morgan Schulke. Thank you to my teachers and friends. Hannah Marie Schultz. Ava Jean Schwen. Sarah Elizabeth Shambo. Class 
class of 2020 at Peace Out Wapaka High School. Jada, Abriana, and Shepard. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who's gotten me past these last few years. See you all at the 10-year reunion. Peace. Seth Antionau Siraki. Brian Gerald Sipp. Adric Patrick Collins Slayton. Mason Michael Snell. Thanks, man. Lily Caroline Sondral. Thank you to my family, teammates, and music department for blessing me with many opportunities. I'll miss you. Sawyer Michael Sopa. I'd like to thank all of my teachers, coaches, and friends for making high school something to remember. And I'll miss you all next year. Colin Andrew Studzinski. Gabrielle Louise Raditsky Sullivan. Paige Elizabeth Swanson. Okay, go. Thank you, friends, family, and teachers for helping me finally get here. Class of 2020, we're finally graduating. Sammy Lynn Swanson. I'd like to take, take this time to thank my family, friends, and teachers for getting me through you today. Thank you. Aniseta Leonor Torres. Tavio Manuel Tovar. Hi, I would like to thank my parents and my friends that I made memories along the way. Caitlin Carver Townsend. Hey guys, I just want to wish you all the best of luck on this next chapter in your lives. Xavier Michael Trindle. Hello, my name is Xavier Trindle. I'm joining the United States Marine Corps, and I'm trying to make a career out of it. I'd like to thank this man right here for helping me. You're welcome. Keegan Joseph Turbiades. Thank you to all the teachers, coaches, and friends who made the past four years of high school a great experience for me, and I wish everyone the best of luck in their future. Brianna Holly Atek. I just wanted to thank my mom and my brother and all of my siblings for all of their support. Colton Hayes Van Handel. Zane Nathaniel Vasquez. <laughs> Celiana Gloria Velasquez. I would like to thank all my friends and family for being there for me through these high school years, and I can't wait for my journey to continue. Caden Timothy Wanty. What's up, everyone? Just want to take a minute to thank all my family and friends for helping me to get to this point, and I wish all of you the best. Thank you. Zachary Ty Wanty. and I'm going to Northern College. Cable Jacob Weiss. Madeline Elizabeth Wennisberg. Joshua Arthur Winter. Thank you to all the family and friends that have gotten me to this point. I really appreciate all the support and love that you guys give me. Thank you. Asher John Wright. I'd like to say thank you to my mom and my dad, my teachers, my coaches, and my friends for all helping me get through high school. Shay Elena Wright. I wanted to thank my parents, teachers, friends, and Jesus, and especially my magical group for making my time at high school amazing. Go Comets! Sawyer Alan Zabel. 
Hello, my name is Thor Isabel. I'll be going to UW Lacrosse for an undecided major, and I'd like to thank my friends and family for getting me here where I am today. Congratulations, seniors. I am so humbled to be a part of your commencement this afternoon. I wish to share with you a perception for which you can view this experience. Please do not dwell on the perception of what you may have lost over the last two months, but the qualities that you have gained through this experience. See that through these trying times, you have gained perseverance, determination, and strength by completing your high school degree amongst a pandemic. See that we are standing together this afternoon by staying apart as a community. See that without leaving your home, you have taken part in something that will be written in the history books forevermore. See that out of this difficult situation is an opportunity to build upon the future. I want you to have the perception of unbounded scale and limitless growth. I hope that you can see through your eyes as I see through mine, what you have just accomplished. Now is the time to celebrate the little wins, but this is no little accomplishment. Please take the time to be so proud of yourself for what you stand for and what you have accomplished. Therefore, I, on behalf of the school district of Wapaka's entire staff, as well as the Wapaka community, would like to congratulate you on your graduation. It is hard to say goodbye to the class of 2020. We see the groundwork that you have built among the uncertainty as a foundation for which you can build upon because the best way to predict your future is to create it. We are nearing the conclusion of the Wapaka High School class of 2020 graduation. Please always remember to stay comet strong and be comet proud. Go comets!